Welcome to Clipada, Lithuania. Olá a todos. Uh, welcome to Lisbon, Portugal. Welcome to Accra, Ghana. Hi, I'm Lucas. I've had diabetes for 22 years. Welcome to California. Good are you, Gavin? Welcome to Costa Rica. Thank you. Bom dia. Good morning from Brazil. Bem-vindo São Paulo. Welcome to São Paulo. Friend, I don't hang on. Welcome to Hong Kong. Hola! My name is Gavin and I live with type 1 diabetes. I was diagnosed at the age of 8 and on my diagnosis my first question to the doctors was can I still play sports? And to be honest the answers I received weren't too encouraging. Lots of talks about the risks, lots of talks about the negative. What do you dislike the most about me, your diabetes? Injections. But never that, yes you can do it. So what I'm here to say to you is yes, you can do it with the right attitude. You can achieve anything you set your mind to whilst living with this condition with the right understanding as well. I'm here to introduce my upcoming global tour, which will be the 5K running, a series of runs around six continents of the world to reach local diabetes communities and get people running together. That means you're on target. Al Vu. on target. Hip hop. I'm excited. I'm um, gonna get my boots on and, and then do the run with Gavin. And it's a privilege to have you here. We had you here two years ago. It was a fantastic time. The kids couldn't stop talking about you. You're encouraging them to realize that people who you, you, with sports, you can living with diabetes doesn't mean you can't do sports. So we are happy about the fact that people are encouraged to be able to exercise living with diabetes. A lot of the young people when they were diagnosed were asked not to play any activity. So they go to school, they are not allowed to play, they are not allowed to run, which was not good for their development. So with this, I think it's an excellent idea that you're doing and we're looking forward to running with you to have fun. <laughs> Today we are in Lake Merritt in Oakland, California and I'm teaming up with Dash Camp Diabetes and Sports Health run by my friend Lucas. Well have you seen all the like angry people at all the, the town halls because people are starting to wake up and, and, and be like wait a second this yeah. is my health care. Yeah I've got to say the UK and what this is about along with the, uh, the protest and by the way after getting diagnosed as I mentioned earlier it's kind of a hard time for me, lots of negatives. Hi Pope! Hi Pope! <laughs> diabetes, diabetes, you suck! I want uh, people around the world to know that uh, with diabetes you can do anything. What I would tell people living with diabetes all around the world is that, is that they're not alone. Sometimes you can feel isolated or worried, but there are, there are other people like us that will be with type 1, and there's a whole community around. And what I would tell them is, as well is, listen to your body. Your body knows best. Uh, impacts you socially, it impacts you emotionally big time. So gather people around you who are positive, who have similar mindset and who can actually pick you up when you fall because we are gonna fall and go back up and just try again. Being positive is the most important for us. Diabetes, just treat yourself as a normal person. Don't see yourself as a sick person, but a normal person. You can achieve all your dreams, you can achieve whatever you want to do, probably do more than a normal person in your life. Just have faith in yourself and listen to your doctors. That's the important one. The simple message to you is that whenever any hurdle comes your way, don't let that stop you from achieving whatever you want to achieve. Each of you here, you can achieve anything you set your mind to. It comes down to you as a person. <laughs>